Hi, everyone, and welcome to CAPS Realty Group's Real Fox session. Today, I am very excited as we have two special guest speakers here with us right from Orlando, Florida, and I have been working with them for the last 10 years, and they are an amazing team of ours to work with. We have Miss Elena and Mr. D. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having Thank us. Hi. How's the weather down there? Oh, it's gorgeous today. 80 degrees. Oh it's gosh, beautiful. I don't want to hear that. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only good thing we have going right now. <laughs> you guys are so it's, lucky. It's actually kind of chilly for us. For Florida, 80 degrees in, in May, it's kind of cold. <laughs> oh gosh, well we're at 15 degrees Celsius and we are like Ooh. all out there. I'm like, oh my God, finally some good weather, right? Yeah. Where we're, yeah, we've had too much of the cold and gloomy weather recently, so this is nice. But the reason I love Florida and I love what I do is to come and see the palm trees and the beautiful weather with you guys, right? So it's a I nice agree. change and it's only two hours away, which is amazing. Yeah, people so don't anyways, realize how quickly can you get here. Right, yeah. I know, two and a half hours and it's literally 180 degree shift in temperature in the winters especially. Yeah. So that's nice. Yeah. But today, let's get right to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about five of our top questions that our investors have been asking, our snowbird investors, in regard to their properties in Florida. Because with COVID right now, um, you know, a lot of things have changed and we want to know how the market there is doing and how their properties um, are doing now and can be predicted um, to do in the future right so maybe we'll start with our first question how is the orlando market right now how's central For florida doing in terms of their market stats and listings and transactions well uh, central florida market it's still doing good so far however we did uh, see a decrease of sales in um, april but we don't have the numbers um, right now for <clears throat> they will come up later a little bit in may but comparing to march 2019 and march 2020 we did see that home sales improved by 2% and the median price increased by 8%. However, the, um, the inventory, it still remained low, so it declined of 10%. Um, we have to understand that we are right now in a very unique situation. So, but Orlando, it still remained one of the vibrant destination and the great demand of stays there for the new, residents for international home buyers and for investors in the short term <clears throat> yes we did see a little bit of decrease in sales in april however hopefully in, in the long term it's going to bounce back we just have to stay positive yeah no absolutely and you know what we've done this in 2008 like with deep you remember 2008 2009 2010 you guys saw similar um things happen right but it yeah. does bounce back up um, it's just right now, it's a matter of how long is this going to last. It can bounce up sooner um, <laughs> or how long it would take depends on how long the coronavirus lasts and we don't find a vaccine um, for it. I agree. Kind of uncertainty. Everybody's kind of a little afraid. They don't know what's going to happen. So it's yeah. one of those things. But overall, I think we should be back to normal pretty soon. Okay, good. Well, what about for investors that have bought the long-term rental properties there um, with the one-year leases? Um, how are they doing in terms of um, the tenants paying rent? And if some of the tenants aren't able to pay rent because of the situation now, um, how is the Florida um, legalities kind of handling eviction and all that? It's very tricky at this present time, Pooja. And as you know, and we know in this business, being in the business long enough, uh, we've never seen anything like this coming in you know, our way. So it's something that, you know, nobody could predict this. Uh, we lost, uh, as U.S. lost 26% of unemployment. That's huge. Mm -hmm. You know, we have 330 million people living here. So just imagine that. Uh, Orlando, the biggest employer that exists, 72,000 people. Disney laid off 70,000 people. So it, it has impacted at some level. There were some local uh, uh, help that was given to uh, the tenants if they qualify. Uh, it was a very small number, so it didn't affect. I really think uh, landlords and property managements are really working with uh, tenants as they move forward, making ways that you know maybe they can pay extra the following month and try to catch up in a couple of months. But, I think it would be the right way to approach those uh, situations because 
our code systems are down. So even if somebody starts the eviction, how do you how long does the eviction take? It's just going to delay. You know, I, I don't even see any of the judge who's going to uh, approve that file because of the situation. So, you know, uh, it's it's just very, very uh, nerve wracking in a way. You know, it's very touchy. Uh, I've already been in this kind of situation before uh, a couple of weeks back. I had people who call me and said, can't afford the rent. And we said, hey, we'll figure out a way to do it. Talk to the owners or talk to the property management. Right. You know? So right now it's more of a matter of, you know, case by case, talking to the landlords, trying to figure something out and kind of taking it from there. It's yeah. And, and, and investors have to understand and the client, your clients have to understand and my clients, the same thing. It's affecting not only in the residential, it's even affecting in the commercial. Yeah. A lot of the restaurants have not made those adjustments to go take out or do curbside pickup. So they're closed. How are they paying rents? Nobody's paying rent. Because a lot of these companies are are giving them a couple of months uh, months of break, and then they're going to catch up on their rent the following month as we open up. Well, um, here deep, like the Ontario government right mm -hmm. now, actually just last week announced that they're doing an emergency rent assistance program to commercial landlords. Have you guys oh, wow. in Florida implemented something like that? They have something called PPP, uh, uh, Payroll Protection Plan. Uh, it's it's there for small businesses, but it's the process is too long. So a lot of people are not getting benefit out of it. You know, it's taking too long. It's been some people have applied for almost four weeks and still don't have any money yet. How do they survive? You know, yeah. and and you know, uh, we all know small businesses run on very small margins. Yeah. So how do you uh, have no income coming in, payroll, rent? You have to lay people off. And that's exactly yeah. what's happening. It's a very difficult time. It's like something that we we went through two thousand eight, eight, and uh, that was very different. Uh, very different. This is yeah. totally. It was gradually. This has happened in four weeks. It's something that uh, we couldn't uh, control. Absolutely not. What about in terms of short term rentals? Are obviously right now people are not visiting. Um, do you anticipate, you know, in the next little while that picking up or how is that market doing? Uh, I, I personally think it's going to pick up. Uh, we see a pretty slow down, a lot of cancellations, uh, at least for the month of April. Uh, we had a meeting with one of uh, the property management that I'm working on with one of the projects that uh, we're working on locally. And they say they already see a picking off uh, more uh, reservations coming up for the following month and even for June. So for the summers, you know, school's going to be out. Right. Uh, so people, I think as, as the U.S. market opens up, different states open up, uh, I think people are going to start traveling locally. They won't be flying out. They at least get on the road. Their gas prices are very low. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's, yeah. it's 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 going to be benefiting in some level, and you know. So Absolutely. I really think that's going to happen. Well, that kind of brings us to the next question: Disney World, right? That's our number one driver of uh, vacationers and tourists. And what's happening with Disney World? When's it going to open? Any news on that? We're all wondering here in Canada. Yeah, I forgot my well, Disney hat. <laughs> <laughs> So far, we have great news that uh, on Monday, we'll be opening some of the businesses. Yesterday, the, uh, said, uh, the Florida governor announced that some of the business like the restaurants, the parks, so you can go to the beach. Uh, it's only up to 25% capacity. Okay. However, Disney hasn't announced it yet. If you look on their website, it says they might open June 1st but it's not 100%. Um, and same as governor say that D Disney and uh, all the other team parts, they may open in phases, like phase two and phase three, which, which means that it will have still a limited capacity. So in Disney, employees have enough time to clean the rides. And like you said earlier, the Mickey Mouse probably is gonna wear a mask because that's gonna be one of the requirements that everybody has to have a mask um so we don't have a date yet but hopefully soon like the governor said it, it's a matter of weeks not a matter of months okay well that's good news right we're getting somewhere 
it's it's going to be um, puja like everything else right we, after schools are out you know yeah. people are going to have things to do and as the states open up if they're at 50 percent uh, uh, an occupancy they can get out they can move they can drive it's reasonable to take a family it'll be a reasonable a reasonable time to come to florida too you know if the hotels are so empty at this present time uh, normally right now uh occupancy is not even 30 percent or 35 but in the normal summers, it would be hundred. You know, it's occupied mm-hmm. all the time. So it's a, it's not, it's not normal. But I think it's going to adjust. I think the next few months is going to really uh, uh, put a pretty good picture out there. And I think we should be we see positive signs. You know, market's pretty stable, so that's always indicates. Orlando is you know we only have four and a half months of inventory on the market, so that's very positive plus the interest rate, very low. Right. So given that, do you would you say it's a good time um, for investors or snowbirds right now to possibly be buying property or even um, selling their existing or listing on both sides? How do you feel the market is right now? Would you suggest to buy or sell or both? I think if somebody is in the market to purchase today, I think this is the right time to buy. They're going to see a lot of great incentives coming towards them. You know, a lot of builders are doing closing costs, uh, doing free upgrades, uh, lease back options. And those are very crucial numbers and, you know, great sounding uh, uh, tickers for the investors. They, they want security, you know, because some of these projects might not be ready in nine months or a year from now. So in that sense, uh, it's going to happen. Uh, I think we just have to watch the market pretty closely, you know, and I I think the first month it'll be okay. We're not going to see too much movement, but I think as of June, we should see a pretty big spike of sales coming back because because of the interest rate again, you know, today a U.S. person can get a financing at uh, under, you know, 3%. That's like 2.8%. That's pretty low. Right. And what about so, uh, if somebody's considering to sell one of their properties right now? Would you recommend listing in this market right now? I think and how this is are not listings the, doing? I, I personally think it's not the time to panic. Mm-hmm. It's not, you know, when you panic, everybody's going to start panicking. Then you're going to have too many listings in one area. And then what happens? Then you're stuck with your inventory. And then, then, then it becomes a buyer's market. You don't want that. So I think it's time to watch and observe the market day to day. You know, you're an expert. You keep up with Orlando market more than anybody I know who lives in uh, a different country. So you do a great job, you know, always checking out uh, with us and and looking at the aura, you know, information that we get local from the uh, our associations. So it's it's very simple. You know, it's just something that I I don't think investors know. You you know, panic is not the right time. You know, when you start panicking, that's the time you start losing money. Exactly. No, I absolutely agree. And I'm telling the ones that are kind of on the sidelines, you know, just hold on, you know, the deals are going to start coming and we already see that with some of the builders now. So that is one positive, I guess, out of all of this, but it's all a waiting game for all of us, right? One day at a time, everything's changing so much and so different than what we're all used to. Look at this. We could have been on, you could have been in Orlando right now. I know. I was actually (laughs) scheduled to come to Orlando in April. Yeah, because oh, wow. I was there Christmas, right? And I was due yeah. to come in April, and now look at this. So I That's can't okay. wait to come down again. I miss those palm trees. I miss you guys. Um, but <laughs> hopefully here. soon. Yeah, yeah. hopefully soon. Uh, yeah. I think we're going to go back to normal pretty soon. Uh, I'm going to, you know, I, I think I think Florida should be back to normal pretty soon, in, in less than a month. Yeah, and I'm glad to hear Monday you guys are opening up some things, right? So it's a good yeah. sign towards movement. So we'll all be kind of looking at you for, as an example and seeing how the market reacts to all that. Because um, we're still on lockdown till mid-May. We haven't opened up anything yet. Um, so we'll be definitely looking to you guys as an example. Perfect. We're just testing I mean, the water right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> little little. We're, we're the guinea pigs for you guys. Yeah, so we'll let it. you know how bad we get <laughs> no, no, everything cross fingers, everything will go well. And will. we just wish everyone to stay safe and healthy and things get back to normal soon, right? 
Mm-hmm. But thank you so much for your time. I really, really appreciate this. If we have any other questions, um, if you have any other questions, let us know and we will put you in touch with our team in Florida and help you with your investments or any questions um, related to real estate that you do have. If you like this video and would like to see more on real estate fact sessions by Cast Realty Group, do subscribe to our channel below. And thank you so much once again for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, you Pooja.